is a story about a family who have built themselves a very nice cartel. All of them have used the gold of the public, but their back rooms has a Pima bunch. A Pima bunch is the mess that they made the Pima bunch. Hello, voters of Pima County. We're back with another episode of The Pima Bunch. Just south of Tucson, there's a little place called South Tucson? Oh, you're good. I know. <laughs> south Tucson is a one square mile postage stamp. Blink and miss. Exactly. But. South Tucson is an incredibly important pawn in the Pima Bunch's control over our fair county. Why? Because all regional groups that vote on how and where things get done involve a vote from all jurisdictions in Pima County. Like with that $2.1 billion RTA project, <laughs> tiny South Tucson got the same vote as Tucson, Oro Valley, and Marana. So Mayor Jennifer Ekstrom, daughter of former South Tucson Mayor and former Pima County Supervisor Dan Ekstrom. Jennifer being Chief of Staff for County Supervisor Ramon Valadez. Valadez being Jennifer's dad's handpicked successor. Her dad having served on the same Rio Nuevo board with Vic Soltero, another former South Tucson Mayor. That lost taxpayers $230 million? Uh-huh. Wait. Where is this all going? Cronyism. So South Tucson, Pima County, Rio Nuevo, hundreds of millions of taxpayer dollars lost equals cronyism? That's how things work here and mostly don't work. I've got one better. South Tucson was also the training ground for super bureaucrat Mike Hine. Oh! Right! Hein was the city manager of South Tucson and then somehow became Tucson city manager during the Rio Nuevo spending spree until he got fired. Mm -hmm. The Arizona legislature took control of Rio Nuevo. Like stealing candy from babies. They must have squealed something awful. Actually, for the cronies, it'll probably turn out pretty sweet. Tucson will probably forgive South Tucson the 900,000 in Suntran bills and 1.4 million prison bill after the 2012 elections. All in a little town that can't pay its bills and keeps getting handouts from Tucson and Pima County taxpayers? Could it be powerful families, powerful cronies, powerful votes on huge spending projects? Could it be? Find out next time on The, the Pima, Pima Bunch. Bunch. So one day when these people met this fellow And they knew that he would run it with a punch That this group is messing with our families That's the story that we call the Pima Bunch The Pima Bunch The Pima Bunch Is the mess that they made the Pima Bunch